Welcome back to the 2010 Cross Country State Preview with KB and Dr. Bob here on distancepreps.com. You know, one of the nice things about the live feed on Saturday, KB, is even though you're going to be out in Texas, you're going to be covering the blog for us on Cover It Live. It's going to be right off to the right of the screen where we're showing the live feed. So I'd like to encourage folks to kind of check out distancepreps.com, runnerspace.com, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good connection on Saturday. Well, we're going out to Little Everglades Ranch. Most folks know that we've been there for the last four or five years, an absolutely beautiful location in Dade City. Why don't you take us through the course? All right. Well, here's a little map of the course I've drawn up. We have the start line right here, and it's at the bottom of the what we like to call the Green Monster, which is the long uphill that uh, leads into the finish. They'll start... They have about a 600 meter uphill, gradual, not too steep. It's a pretty, uh, pretty long, but you know it doesn't really take much out of the runners right off the bat. And then they go into Burns Bend, right over here, and halfway through Burns Bend, they'll have a, that'll be the half mile mark. Off of Burns Bend, they go down the back stretch, all the way down the back stretch until they reach the one mile mark on a uh, sage sage bend and the one mile mark is right before a little up and down section a uh, steep little about 100 meter hill and uh it, if you go out too hard it definitely can uh, take it out of you really quick and after the one mile mark we have sneak a peak corner which is at the beginning of the front straightaway and uh sneak a peak corner is a uh, going to be very crucial when they come to the end of the race and you have about 400 meters to go up the final hill so after the mile mark they're going to come back around go down the front stretch in front of the front grandstands cross the uh start there the uh, finish line continue going through burns bend onto the back stretch where they will cut into the infield when they cut into the infield, they go about 50 meters, and they're at the two-mile mark. They do a little loop in the infield. And that's what I've always kind of referred to as sneak-a-beat corner. My right bad. There, the runners that is sneak-a-beat corner. Right there, the runners are able to look over to their right and see everybody coming up behind them. Exactly. If you're uh, one of the front runners and you've got a team that you're trying to win a state title for, you can look and see how your teammates are doing or you're seeing trying to see how your challengers are how far they are behind you. You know, you can really get a good uh glimpse of how the race is behind you. And then uh after they come out of the infield, they've really got about three quarters of a mile to go. And uh you'll see a lot of your strength guys that, you know, can't rel rely on their kick, they'll start to make their move here coming out of the infield. They come around Sage Bend one more time, come back by the start line, and then they head up the Green Monster for the final 400 meters. And uh, it's really cr crucial that they save a lot for the final 400 meters because you'll see a lot of runners that went out too hard or, you know, they're really not feeling well. When you die on a normal, when you know you start to hurt on a normal race, you start to fade but you throw in the uphill and the fact that they're fading and it just gets multiplied. And so it's really important to save a lot for the finish. And you, you've seen some classic finishes up this hill. You know, the 2A race last year, um, Miserick every year out kicking, you know, Larson or whoever it is. You know, the great, great runners are made in that last, you know, uphill, that last 400 meters. So, I mean, between the 1A individual races and the or male race, the 2A, you know, the 3A, the 4A, they're all close races. So it's really going to come down to three or four guys that final 400 meters up the Green Monster. It should be exciting. One of the nice things about the state meet this year is we're going to have the course marked in Ks and kilometers. The plan is to put some yellow balloons out there. Everybody will know where the K markers are. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to make the math a little bit easy. Multiply it by five and you've got what your pace is for 5K. Well, KB, that's a great course preview. Let's take a little break. We'll pay some bills and be right back with the girls and boys 1A.